I teach design here at Malvern High School. I use a program which the high school has allowed me to bring into the school. Well, we had to upgrade some computers to run this program. The program is called SOLIDWORKS. It's the number one used software package in the world today for parametric modeling, three-dimensional design modeling. What I do also with this is I take the design one step further. We integrate some things from some different programs. Uh, Randy Brown's shop is uh, the largest metal shop in a high school in the state of Washington. What we've done is we've taken one of the metal kits and the kids take those, they learn how to write some programs to run machines, three-axis mills and such to create plugs. Plugs are what are created to create uh, composite molds so we can lay up fiberglass in composites. This region of the United States has a lot of manufacturing to be done. Uh, and our kids here can uh, stay close to home and go to work in the industries of fiberglass infusion, composite layup. We've also got some fantastic uh, opportunities and entrances into four-year universities. And I push a lot of my kids towards engineering. I've got one student who's going into NASA this summer. He's only at the end of his junior year and he's gonna be spending an internship at NASA. Uh, and he's done some phenomenal things. He's actually got his professional certification, one of only four kids in the United States, to attain that certificate, uh, which I'm licensed to proctor to give those exams because this is the software I use when I'm designing my boats. And it's been really great to teach this program because it's what I do in the real world, which really gives an extra little uh, momentum to the kids when they're coming out of the program. About three kids started on the first one, and I and the three kids were learning kind of right along with each other. And then we'd have Dick come over, and Dick would help us out, and he'd show us how to do this and that and, and how, how it would work. Uh, aluminum's a lot different to work with than steel is, so there were some things in there that I didn't realize we could do with of the aluminum. So it progressed through one year, got it uh, pretty well, the keel laid, got the sides on and got our bulkheads in and then the next year it was still here so the next year a new student came in because those were graduating seniors so a new student set of students came in and started working on it and um, as they worked on it then we got a third generation came in and get the first second generation got pretty pretty close but had a lot of the finish work left to do and then Kramer came in and did the finish work and he's did a lot of the finish work on it and um, has got it to where it is right now I've been doing more of the cleanup work the majority of this boat was already finished when before I started the most uh, the main thing was the engine housing was what I had to install and just make sure it's really perfect because it's what the engine's going is kind of important. What I thought was kind of cool was it's 20 feet and 3 inches just because all boats under 20 feet have to be 100% buoyant. After summer I'll be going to Skagit Valley College, Community College just because they have a pretty good program there. I have to go there for one year basically since I've been welding already for four years. I've got all my basics done. I got eight credits already done just in this school and so just get my welder's degree and I could go off to work in the real world. Kramer's a lot like Dick was too, and uh, got things going on all the time. He's working on this boat, he's working, doing some soccer goals for the school district, and he's got guys bringing in boat trailers that they need to repair, and he's got more things going on, little businesses and stuff. And he's one of those guys that's figured out that, you know, I have a skill and I can sell that skill, and he's got uh, people coming in and he's doing stuff, and he's actually making money off the off working and doing some of this stuff for him. So he's got the, the idea that, hey, this I can make into a living, and I can do things with it, and it's worth something to me. Going into a job situation, obviously they're going to need those skills like the welding and the cutting and how to work all the machinery and, and do all those kinds of things. But those people skills are, I think, maybe some of the more important skills that they're going to get out of it, is being able to work with other folks and, uh, and just be that, that guy that always has a good attitude and you want to be around and that type thing. Those, they, they learn those pretty quickly in, this, in a situation like this.